Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skelemystic. We're back with a sister video that we just did to the marmalade jellyfish. And this time, the conditions are all the same, the pond is the same, the chance is all the same, except for we're using a fishing luck potion this time. And we want to see if it's going to give us more fish or catch the fish faster or in what way it changes things. Alright, so here we go. The fish we're looking for, just like in the last video, is the balanced fish called the marmalade fish. I'm going to go ahead and get down here and get to it without too much delay. The last time we had one storm in here, uh, and we've got three storm this time. So, uh, four. I see one right, right by the post there. So that's already going to influence the chances we have for the marmalade jellyfish. Let me go to this side. See if there's any better. Whoa, they're all by the shore. Whoa. You gotta be careful with that shore thing. And I got a storm over here, so I've got a lot more storm in here this time. Which means I'll have less chances to catch the marmalade. Which means if I catch a lot more marmalade, you can see how much difference or how much help that fishing potion really is. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out and see what we got. Right over the shore. And I must have landed on somebody because it went right away to invoke. And our first fish, <laughs> our first fish is a treasure chest. <laughs> I wish they'd make those like an additional thing or a, a change thing. I see a fish shadow and catch a treasure chest don't make any sense. Okay, I went to invoke right away, so I had a good luck cast there too. That was one pull. And two pulls. Just like last time, whenever you throw a lure out, they go to the other side. So that doesn't change anything. They make you chase them around this little tiny pond. Ah, that's a balanced cuda. Now we're using a common fish for our example just because you re I have a relatively good chance of catching one even if I'm not using a potion and it, I feel that it gives a better, a more accurate result. All right, let me scan these because I don't forget, I don't remember which one the storm was. Now that's that big old guy over there. All right. I'll wait for this sensor to get off of here. Turn me a little bit and go for it. This cliff kind of throws off your distance too. You're not quite sure how far it's going to go. It seems like it should go farther, but it, I guess they count the drop distance too. One bite, two bites. Three bites. Now I think on the last video where I used no potion, I must have caught 10 or maybe 12 fish, and only one of them was a marmalade. I'm really interested in seeing how many, see what I mean? You catch one and they all head to the other shore. All right, fine, run back over there. Get Mr. Cows out of the way, that's good. I'm gonna catch this guy coming around the rock, he thought he was sly, I'm gonna catch him, <laughs> catch him first. Think. I'll catch him if I don't throw the lure so far out. I know he's down there. <laughs> he's he's biting it with his tail. I saw him spin around just on the corner of the cliff there. Okay, two bites down. And a decoy. Okay. So no marmalade yet. <laughs> That big one was our storm. So this is the one we want. You actually have a better chance of getting the fish that you want if you go for the average size fish shadows rather than the big ones or the small ones. Those tend to be trash fish just because the percentage is higher. Oh, he's swimming away from it. Dang it. All right. Up out there and get behind him so I can throw it in time. I don't think so, though. He's kind of cruising it. Yeah, he's going to go make it to the other side again. These freaking cows are about frequent around this corner. I swear, every time I turn around, there's a cow there. 
and you don't see them anywhere in sight whenever you whenever you walk across the bridge up on the top. Where's that fish at? There he comes, right around the corner. Every time I cross that bridge, there's been a cow standing there. They're guarding me. Sorry, <laughs> I hit that space bar a little bit loud. There he goes. Should be right, there we go, right into it, there we go. Flip up, that's two poles. Get on with it. Oh, uh, yep, this is looking like a decoy. Multiple poles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll, I'll pull, it when I, pull it in when I wake up. Puh. I'll pull it in when I, when I wake up. Oh, wow. I had time to mess up my speech and still pick him up. <laughs> Decoy. Okay, no marmalade so far. We have had less fish to work with. There is that. So if I catch a marmalade with less fish, let me go ahead and scan this, see what's going on. If I catch a marmalade with less fish, then I'll I'll judge it as helpful, along with the experiences I've already had with the fishing potions. I'm gonna blind cast over the cliff here because I cannot see that fish at all. I have no idea where he's at down there. I don't really like to blind cast and I don't really recommend that you do it, but sometimes you have to. Here he comes. I think that's him right there. You have to be really careful canceling that out because he'll be running away and messing you clear up. Man, it's hard to see that guy. Alright, throwing it down. They might have switched fish on me here. I'm not sure. I'll find out in a minute if I get a storm. Uh, one bite down. Uh, nope, it's a decoy. <laughs> okay. Now, I know one of those over there is Storm. Oh, there he That might be him right there. I'm going to scan. This is what you get whenever you get a pod where you can't get down in there and clear them out. I've got one more balanced fish in here. And if he's not a marmalade, then they're telling me that the fishing potion really doesn't change the rank of fish that you get or that change the frequency of good fish. It just helps you keep them from getting away. If that's what they're doing here. I was kind of hoping the fishing luck potion would change the quality of fish that was in here as well. But it doesn't look like it does that. All right, I'm going to cast right there. Kind of blind over the cliff again. Maybe, I'll, yeah, I was right on him. Good. And one pull. Two pulls. But you've noticed, unlike in the other video, none of these have broken the line and gotten away. So I'm thinking what that fishing potion does is keep them from breaking off your line and getting away. Not necessarily does it make the fish that's in the pond better. All right, well, now we have a result, and we have a little bit more knowledge about what's going on with this thing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series you'd like for me to play. Or if you want, just leave a comment to talk to me, because I'd like to talk to you back. This is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, gamers? Skeleton Mystic here. Welcome back to my series on advanced fishing called Catch It Fast, where I attempt to catch a particular type of fish in less than 10 minutes of gameplay. Today we're back in Crocotopia, as you can see at the oasis, and we're looking for a firefish called the strawberry jellyfish. Now ordinarily this fish 